Okay, YouTubers, this is part two of my micro SD flashing. You can see uh, it's still at this uh, screen where it says update complete. It's been about four minutes since uh, I turned off the video on part one, and you can see uh, we're still waiting. I could do a demo for a couple hours to show you that this won't move uh, until you press the reset button. So uh, now what I'm going to do to continue the installation process is I'll hit the reset button. Uh, and remember what I said, this is the safe point. When you get to here, you could disconnect the battery, whatever, and your phone's going to be okay. So now I'm going to hit the reset button so that the installation process continues. On the side here. And in this installation, you'll see that there's a number of questions that it asks, etc. This particular ROM is called Touch It, T O U C H hyphen it, IT. It uh, has not been updated since about December 16. The reason I like it is it has, uh, it's one of the few ROMs that has Manila TV on it. What's Manila TV? It actually is live broadcast television for free. Meaning that I can, uh, for example, there's only a few s channels set up on it uh, that the developer of that Touch It ROM, uh, he only set up a few channels for demo purposes and I don't know how to set up the rest of it, but regardless, MSNBC is one of these stations or channels that works. So I can, on this phone, I can press the Manila TV icon and watch cable TV, MSNBC. And I compared that, by the way, with, um, with uh, the um, cable TV channel running at the same time and it was the exact same programming so that's how I confirmed it was actually live TV in other words I had the program MSNBC running on on a screen here held it right up next to my TV cable channel MSNBC and it was the same so that was to show people prove to people that hey this is actually really live TV so it was pretty cool so this particular ROM is the only one uh, of the, the ones that are out there that I checked that has Manila TV. And it was interesting that the developer of this particular ROM, uh, this Touch It ROM, which you can see it says it right here, uh, he uh, came out with a later version and he took off Manila TV. I don't know why he did that. If it was copyright concern, maybe he got a threatening letter from uh, broadcasters who say, hey, you can't, uh, that live TV stream is for pay for services, not for Manila TV for free, so you're violating whatever laws. So he then took this ROM, uh, he updated it and removed Manila TV. I don't know what happened. And obviously you can tell I'm just yakking while this is updating. It's better than just silence. At least I think it's better than just silence. You can see uh, there it says htcpedia.com. That is where I got this particular ROM. this developer what he did is when you're making these custom ROMs you can do anything you want with it put anything in there so he put in this page this boot up screen whatever you want to call it that um, that uh, uh, shows where he he has the the ROM but HCCpedia does not have anything to do with that ROM uh, development it's not put out by them. Okay, here I have to select my carrier. This is apparently this this Toyo Toyo uh, Mobile is a a, a pay service for uh, a prepaid cellular service. I think for Hispanics and it's real popular in LA. 
but uh, so we go next okay we can skip all this I'll pass on the Wi-Fi for now you can read that you can pause your screen if you really want to go into this I'll set up my email later social networking I'll skip all this now these are things that the developer put in the the person who made this custom ROM has all this why do I point that out well if you get your ROM from like say T-Mobile some other carrier or from some other developer whatever you may not have this this is something that he put in there okay I like the weather so we say yes Pause a little so you can read this stuff. Now we have our locations showing correct San Francisco, but the time is off and the weather is in Celsius and all that. But basically, that's it. Now I'm going to go and install my various applications and whatever. So one of the first things I do, I'll just uh, say this real quick. One of the first, now you can see this is also in, in dimmer mode. But one of the first things, you could go like this, for example. I, I customize tabs, everything. See, this is Celsius. So the first thing we do, let's get it into Fahrenheit. Okay. And you can say... Uh, Let's see what they have for location. Okay, so that's that. Okay, and that's fine. But without getting totally uh, sidetracked, let me show you. The first thing I do is I set up File Explorer on these quick links. These are called quick links. I set up File Explorer right away so that because I go into my ROM, uh, into my chip, my micro SD chip, where I have all my programs, and I install them all. Okay, so now there's a quick link for File Explorer. Let me show you real quick, because I talked about it, let me show you the TV. Let's see. MSNBC. Now I can assure you, this is what's running on my cable TV right now. Uh, Strom, do you want to weigh? Bob, do you want to weigh in on Sarah Palin? Can I endorse her too? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think she'd be an I think she'd be an ideal Republican nominee in 2012. Okay, uh, I don't understand. I don't understand why. Isn't that cool? And I'll turn the lights up so you can see this is actually my T-Mobile Touch Pro 2 phone. Out there with what looks like a presidential campaign, but the other stuff she's doing looks that way. So I think the Republican Party is going to have to deal with as a very hope you enjoyed uh, my demonstration of what I call micro SD flashing.